Hey everyone, Craig Suda, Nitro Boats, Mercury Marine, and Cabela's of Richfield. Today I want to run you through my 2021 Nitro ZV20. Let's go take a look at the entire rig. Tandem axle trailer, ZV20 as it says here. Some of the cool features I really enjoy with the ZV20 is the ladder placement for the boarding ladder. I think it's a really nice touch. It's right here, easy to access and available for everyone. An option available are these trailer tie downs. It makes it really easy to unlatch the trailer and be able to tighten it right down with the boat to it. One thing I really enjoy about is the quick and ease of that. Some other things on the ZV20 are the option of trim tabs. In a little bit, I'll walk you through more of exactly how those work, why I use them, how they're a benefit to me. Performance is everything, right? We're on the water. We want to make sure we can get the speed out of the boat that we need, the performance we overall need, no matter what conditions we're in. This boat comes with a 10 inch jack plate, which allows you to be able to adjust height uh, overall to help your boat get maximum hole shot as well as top end speed. One of the most important features to me is this big bad boy right here, the Mercury Marine 300 horsepower Pro XS. It's an absolute beast and rockets this boat past 60 miles per hour. One of the things when you're out there with your family that I think is important is ensuring your drain plug gets installed. Sometimes when those things, the boat ramp, you're in a rush, you're in a hurry, and you might overstep something. The cool part here, it's remote. Little touch of this guy right here, you turn it, it goes in and out just based on turning a simple thing from inside the boat. So in that terrible situation where you forgot to put the drain plug in, you can always do it from right inside the boat while on the water. No need to go get your boat or your truck and trailer, rehook back up and be able to pull it out of the water. Keeps you safe on the water at all times. Coming around on the other side. Over here you'll see the other trim tab. Once again, I'll, I'll dig in deep here, but they are on both sides of the boat. And the 15 horsepower Mercury Pro Kicker. One of the best things you can possibly have on your boat as a walleye guy is a kicker. Helps you to control your speed and your presentation the best way possible whenever you're on the water. One thing I like about this, it's a remote kicker. So right here is the, the handle, it allows you to go forward and reverse. Also tilt and trim are built in right here on the handle itself. So one of the things that I also like that Nitro allows you to do is be able to add a keel guard right from the factory. So here you have a factory installed keel guard that helps ensure that any debris, things in the water that you may come in contact with, your keel never ever feels that, that impact whatsoever. It's protected in some kind of way. Another thing I'm really excited about this year is the Altera Minn Kota trolling motor. This is the auto stow, auto deploy version. So by using the link remote right here, you're actually able to go ahead and push a button. I'm not going to do inside the shop, but it'll push a button and it'll actually come and deploy the trolling motor into the water. Touch of another button, picks it back up and puts it back in the position you see today. That's one really nice feature, especially when you're fishing those big waves in Green Bay and Lake Michigan. No one wants to have to walk the front of the boat to put the trolling motor in the water. This setup from Minkoto allows you to not have to do that and operate right from your remote from the pleasure of anyone in the back of the boat. Another thing I really like is the boarding ladder. It's all built in, it's all part of the nitro trailer system that comes within the factory, allows you to step up real quick to get inside the boat from any dock or inside your garage, which is a really nice thing to have. So there's so many things that the nitro team put together when developing this boat, and sometimes it's the small details that make all the difference. For example, when it comes to this seat right here, it's quick and easy to remove your bike seat, and the cool part is nitro provides you two different options for seat placement. So for a taller guy like myself, I can put it in the back hole, and if, I, if you're not as tall or you want to be closer to your trolling motor pedal, you can put it in the front one. The option's really up to you, which is pretty nice. So that's that. Some other thing is how much storage this boat has. So opening up these compartments, they are absolutely monstrous. Tons of room for your life jackets, tons of room for any of your uh, other supplies and gear, tackle, things you need, you can easily fit on the other side. Moving uh, closer to the cockpit area, Nitro also includes a roto molded cooler for all of your beverages. Your ice can go in there and it'll definitely keep it nice and frozen all day long. On the other side is your bait well. Here's your bait bucket. It does give you the valve to ensure that water continuously flows throughout this compartment all throughout the day. And I'll show you a little bit of the Z-Touch system that controls both the front and rear live well. Some additional features on the front of the Nitro are these little flip open doors. They're completely different on both sides. What I love about this side is it provides you with access to all your electronics, all your fuses, and everything you need to access in the case of something not working appropriately inside of your console. On this side, it provides you with a carpeted storage area found inside here. I find it to be a great place to store my planer boards. Towards the front of the boat, some additional things I have in here. The kicker stereo system, so four total speakers, and the kicker Bluetooth XM radio uh, supported radio. Also, for me this year, I added these boat buckles. So if you decide to purchase from Richfield Cabela's, their crew does an awesome job of rigging the boat the way you want it. 
And that's one of the things I had them install. Reason being, I want to have a second net in the front of the boat at all times. So now I can lay my net here and use that, hand, that strap to ensure the handle never moves and the net always stays in place. Some additional features that Nitro built into the ZB20 when they first built it is this great cup and tool holder right here in the front corner, a recessed foot pedal, hold, foot pedal holder. What that does for you is it allows you as an angler to be able to operate the front of the boat's trolling motor and be able to stand completely level while being able to work your fishing presentation. I think it's a great thing to have, it keeps you more safe and more secure while on the water. The way I rigged this boat this year is we left the ram mount up front and it allows me to be able to move the 9 inch hummingbird locator from my dash to the bow depending on where I'm fishing for the day. So it's one really nice thing that's here from the ram mount as well as the quick clip disconnect from hummingbird. And the features just keep going on and on inside this Nitro ZB20. Over here they provide an access to be able to put your net. The actual net itself goes here and the rod handle actually goes up and through the bottom of the dash. Really nice feature to keep the net up and out of the way. I really love that about the Nitro ZB20. Some other things on the passenger console, they provide a great place to be able to put the passenger's phone, a charger for it, and also a little cubby to be able to put any accessories or odds and ends that they feel they need to store. Us fishermen, we love having large glove boxes to be able to store all of our stuff. The ZB20 provides exactly that. It's wide, it's deep, lots of volume in there to be able to fill, fill of whatever you want to put in it. The other thing that we like to have big is a rod locker. Last year I was able to fit 28 total rods inside of my rod locker, which made a huge difference being able to have all the presentations I wanted while out in the water while I was on the tournament trail. So take a look at the size of this thing. In addition to this, uh, the one thing that you can't see, you can't hear right now, but on the side there's some louvered vents. And those louvered vents provide the air system that Nitro has to circulate air throughout this box and other compartments to ensure that your gear never gets moldy and never has any issues with, with moisture. On the driver's cockpit side, you have two Hummingbird electronics. You have all your gauges and instrumentation. The Mercury SmartCraft gauge comes factory installed as part of the Pro XS setup. You can see the trim tab gauges as well as the Nitro ZV Touch system. And last but not least is the four speaker stereo in the bottom corner. While Nitro was building this boat, I don't know if they thought about this or if this was important to them or not, but I found it important to me in my 2020 I ran last year. A great place to be able to store your PFD and your throwable. Safety on the water is of the utmost importance to everyone, and having quick and easy access to this is extremely important. And right here's a great spot you can stick it, and I've never had a blowout. The back of the ZV20 provides you lots of space for you and others to fish along with you. That's one of the things I really enjoy about the boat, especially on those hot and sunny days. Lots of room to be able to get away from the people that you're fishing with. And they also give you lots of storage options, so let me run you through that. This is the first storage box. This is the exact same thing on the passenger side of the boat. Lots of room to store your 3700 series Plano boxes, as well as anything else that you decide to put inside of it. Great option. I know I mentioned earlier on the bow, we added in the rod buckles. Uh, the Cabela's team here in Richfield did. Same thing in the back. The purpose for me of having these is my ability to put my planer boards there. So that they're not on the floor, I'm not stepping on them, and my offshore boards have a great place to be stored. Put a little bit further back, more storage. Some pretty cool parts about this is this entire box actually lifts right out. So you can store, once again, 3700 series. You can put tools in here, planer boards, wet items, drift socks, whatever you choose to do. Lots of room in here. It also gives you access to all your pumps and everything else in the back of the boat. The other side, exact same setup, and this tray goes back in extremely easy and out of the way. Last but not least, giant live well for those giant fish you hope to catch and bring back the tournament scale. A location here for your bait bucket, making sure your minnows stay alive throughout the day. And of course you have the, the live well divider, which allows you to put big fish on one side, smaller on the other, or however you choose to use it. Having all this awesomeness in one package is great, but if you don't have the power supply to be able to keep all these electronics, that big mercury running, what good is it? The one thing I really enjoy about this ZV20 is this easy to access battery compartment. Inside of this one, I run five total batteries. 33 of them for the 36 volt system that run the trolling motor and two additional ones for your cranking battery as well as concern our electronics last all day long. On top of that, the two onboard chargers make it easy for you to plug it all in and keep it charged when you're not on the water. 
So I know I mentioned earlier the Z-Touch system from Nitro. I'm gonna give you a quick run through exactly how it works. So one thing I like is the first fish and first fish two options. One is for the rear live well, the other one's for the front bait well. But what this does for you is all you have to do is push the button one time, it'll automatically fill your live well, turn on, turn on recirculation, and for until you basically turn the power off on the boat, it'll ensure that your live wells are always filled and always recirculating, keeping your fish alive. So the other things it provides you the night mode for when it's dark outside. And when you go into all switches, it gives you full control of both your live well as well as your bait well, pump out, recirc, and fill. Down here, you can see an, an option to turn your bilge on. This boat does come standard with an auto bilge system, but let's say you want to ensure that that bilge is completely dry, you can turn on and off yourself. Here's your turn on your navigation anchor lights. And we mentioned the fan when we were going through the rod locker system. This is another option to be able to turn on an auto, off, or on continuously while you're on the water. Very awesome options from Nitro. One of the things that makes the Nitro boat an absolute game changer is the addition of the Lenco trim tabs. What that allows you to be able to do on the water, be able to control basically the entire hull of the boat and how it reacts to the conditions you're in. For example, you have a 15 horsepower kicker on this side. You have a big guy my size and my daughter who's 15 in the passenger seat. As you know, often the boat will kind of ride off access. The trim tabs are individually controlled, which allows you to be able to raise one side of the boat or drop the other side, leveling out your load while you're underway. That also works well when you're in bigger waves and let's say they're blowing into the starboard side, you can actually drop the side of your port, raise your starboard side, so that way the waves crash up against the higher side of the boat, ensuring that you and your crew don't get wet while you're out there. Some of the other advantages are while running directly into the waves or with them, it allows you to be able to drive the front of the boat down by lifting the stern, which allows you for a much smoother and flat ride across the water. Thanks for taking the tour of my 2021 Nitro ZV20. If you're out in the market for a new boat and love the way this thing looks, come check out Cabela's in Richfield. It's a great place to shop for any of your fishing accessories, a new boat, or any ATV or side-by-side -side you might be interested in.